As previously mentioned in example 9.1, in a replacement study, we will be using annual worth. This is a formula. Total worth will be equal to capital recovery plus annual worth of annual operating costs. The capital recovery, it's a new term that I will be explaining in the upcoming chapters, but it is essentially made up of the principal or the initial cost and the salvage value. Note that it is the annual worth of the principal since you are converting the P to A and it's the annual worth of the salvage value since you are converting your F to an A. Then we have our third element which is the A or in this case the annual operating cost. The reason why they show this rather complex formula here it's because you must take into consideration that the annual operating cost may not necessarily be an A. Okay, so there's three possible scenarios for this. Okay, so let me write some notes for slide 9-11. Okay, so this is for the annual worth of the annual operating cost. Okay, so let's take a look at our first case. This would be case one. And here we have five years. And let's say that in year one, you have $1,000 year 2, 1,000, year 3, 1,000, year 4, 1,000, and year 5, 1,000. We have an annual operating cost of $1,000 every year. So this right here is what we call uniform series. Okay. And in this particular case, your annual operating cost is already in A. Or it's already the annual worth of the annual operating cost because we have the same amount every year. Okay, we have a second case or a second scenario. So again, we have five years, but in this case, we have, let's say, a certain amount in year one, then it increases somewhat in year two, then increases by the same amount in year three, then another increase in year four, and another increase in year five. So here we are assuming that it's the same amount of increase every year. In this case, we will have a gradient. Okay, so what happens here, we learned in previous chapters that gradients are composed of two things. First of all, you will have the base and the base, it's similar to case number one. So you will have the same amount every year for the base, meaning that here we have already an annual worth. But then the remaining part is the gradient. And we must convert the gradient to A by using the find A given G factor. Okay, So don't forget to add the two elements. You have base, already A, no factor needed, and then add the gradient part of it that needs to be converted to an A. Okay, So now we have the annual worth of the annual operating cost. We have a third case. So same five years, 
but in here you will have annual operating costs that are not the same so they're not uniform at all so let's say that in year one you have an annual operating cost and it's annual because it happens every year but it's just not the same amount so in year one you have one hundred dollars then in year two you have 150 year 3 you have 70 year 4 you have 75 and let's say that in year 5 it increases to 200 in this case there's no pattern so they're not uniform there's no gradient so we can say that no pattern and it's not uniform okay so what do you do in this case okay we need two steps to solve this first of all this is going to be related to what we covered in chapter two about shifted series okay so you may go back to that video but in summary step number one would be to call all of these F's so you would have an F in year 1 F in year 2 F in year 3 F in year 4 and F in year 5 the first step would be to convert okay, all of these F's into P's or in other words you will be moving each and one of these individually to year zero and what factor are you going to be uh, using here it's going to be find p given f for each and one of them remember that the n will change because here you have one year here you have two three four and five once you have everything in year zero your next step would be to convert the resulting P into A or in other words whatever you have here okay, draw it now the P that you have here you have to distribute it evenly among these five years and you will be using find a given p. Okay, so this is what this formula is uh, talking about. So first you convert everything or you move everything from f to p depending on how many uh, years you have okay, all the way up to uh, the last year and then once you have everything in year zero you just distribute it by uh, find a given p. Okay. 